It's well and truly upon us. It's the perfect excuse to spoil yourself with a delicious dessert. Okay, Lynn Bartolini, you just know with a name like that you are going to be a very, very good cook and you're going to show us how to do a Christmas pud with a twist. Yes, Ken, that's right. Uh, look, this is my Italian-inspired uh, chocolate coffee pudding or chocolate espresso pudding. Uh, so basically what I decided to do was take a very traditional Italian Christmas cake being a pandoro or you could also use panettone and uh, make it, you know, and put it to good use. And so you've made a chocolate sauce here, with, um, yes. just with the, some, some chocolate from the store and, and what is this, cream or? Correct, yes. Yeah, wow. So this is just chocolate and cream sitting on what we call a double boiler. So this is a, you know, homemade double boiler, you just need a bowl. Mm. And is this a family tradition? Has this been handed down? Or is this your creation? No, this is one of my creations to use up this cake that's often sitting around uh -huh. in an Italian household for a few weeks over Christmas. One that's about five weeks old, starting to get bounce it on the ground and be rock-like. <laughs> rock yeah, right. yes. How do you put it together? Okay, so what we have to do, so I have some chocolate here that I prepared earlier, um, and so we take the panettone, or the pandoro, and you dip it into the chocolate. Okay, so we coat the chocolate. Mm. So far, it's so looking good. so good. Mm. Cake, isn't it? Cake, the cake and chocolate. <laughs> yes, that's, that's right. <laughs> Look at Wendy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wendy's saying, I want to get bigger that's now. It's <laughs> not for a good cause, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's never too early for chocolate, I say. Um, so, what you do is you coat uh, the cake in the chocolate and just pop it into the glass. Then from there, yeah. we go. Yeah. Just cream? A little bit of the cream. Mm. Now, there is a little bit of vanilla essence in the cream, just mm -hmm. to give it little something extra just to point out in this chocolate once it's melted down i add frangelico oh, okay now it's got better clearly oh. clearly you don't have to do that yes you do <laughs> yes, you, do. you know it's a little bit no, naughty no, it's no, great but it's no, an adult dessert somebody the other day was being sacrilegious on television a cook they call themselves a cook and they weren't going to put any no. alcohol in the pudding oh. Right. Look, Pathetic. this is perfect for that, you know, last minute barbecue when you say, what do I bring? And they go, dessert? Done. Great adult dessert with a little bit of frangelico and then, of course, the coffee. So we add that into the chocolate once it's melted right. down. Coffee in the chocolate, frangelico in the, in chocolate. the chocolate. Correct. Vanilla essence in the cream. Yes. And then we've got cherries and um, what, toasted almond So slivers. these are toasted almond slivers, right? Mm, just yes, toast just up in a frying right. pan. And then, of course, being a Christmas dessert, we need to add a few little cherries. So oh. it looks very pretty, be beautiful on your Christmas what? table. Mm. But we should probably try it to make sure that it tastes okay. Actually, it's it's art. You can't eat art. Okay, we'll share because Wendy looks like she's There you go. It's all for you. <laughs> Look, your life you. won't be worth living if you're not giving cake right now. now. You're originally from Ingham in North Queensland with a lot of Italian people and they're beautiful cooks up there. And mm. nobody cooks like the mamas up there, do they? That's mm. right. Mm. Nobody cooks like our um, mums or our nonnas. Mm. Beautiful. Um, and you have a cookbook out too, blending the cultures. I do, and oh. and the you know the purpose behind the cookbook mm. was to capture those recipes, in particular my family recipes from Ingham, but also my family's recipes from Italy, and also to capture my family's story, my grandparents in Italy through World War II, and then what it was like to grow up in Australia as an Italian Australian, mm. and what food we ate. Mm. Um, so, yeah. Well, we're glad that the Italians came oh, to I'm so Australia. Happy. Well, how good is that? Yeah, well, they, one, yeah. they brought us beautiful food and they brought us great coffee. They really brought Indeed. us great coffee. So you've got the whole combination here. We do. Many and I noticed Wendy doesn't Thank have you. much to say now. She's got any chocolate. I'm just wondering if I can kind of sneak off here. <laughs> just go and sit on the couch with my dessert. Off you go. Too early. Tanya, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Blending the Cultures by Tanya Barton.